just trying to get the video, the cat in the video, but um, I guess one night is all we're going to get out of her. Uh, so tonight I watched, I have this beautiful Eclipse series from Criterion. So I watched one of the films on it. I watched uh, this one. Can you see it? There, ooh. there we go. Uh, it's Larissa Lar yeah, Shep Shepitko's Wings. Uh, the, ger or the German, the, the Russian name is um, Kri Kri Kriya. Kriya. So she was Ukrainian and she went to the um, Soviet Cinematography School and she studied with She studied with uh, this guy, his name is escaping me, and my internet is not working. Oh my god, there we go. Okay. She studied with uh, Noshenko, who is most famous for um, Man, Movie Camera. Man, no. Man, movie. All kinds of Okay, well, he worked with um, Eisenstein. Um, actually, I don't think I've seen any of his films. Oh, anyways, okay. So, she's making it. She worked with, she, like, she went to school with um, um, all those guys, uh, Tarkovsky, etc. And uh, she made Wings in 66, and this film was, was sort of um, controversial because, one, it showed the main character and her daughter having strife and there was like, you know, a generation gap between those who fought in the war and those who were born after the war and that big rift that was happening. Um, you know, with like the teenagers in Rebel Without a Cause, it was that kind of thing and they were like, no, you can't show that. Um, and it also showed the main character is this war hero. She was a pilot. Um, and she's sort of a forgotten man sort of thing. Like, there's this one scene, this is a little spoilery, but there's this one scene towards the end where she's sitting waiting for her friend in a museum and there's a bunch of school kids uh, looking through this exhibit um, of famous people from the war and they stop on a spot with um, some pilots and the and the woman ta the woman giving the tour talks about the lead male guy who was the main pirate, pilot, pirate, pilot and the two women who fought with him and one of the kids asks, uh, if they're still alive, the women, and one of them isn't, one of them is in the room, but the woman who's giving the tour doesn't even realize that the other woman is this woman that's sitting there on a bench, and it was just, like, super depressing. So that was, like, you know, in the Soviet, Soviet 60s, they were like, no, we have heroes, we won't, we don't forget them, but I think we well know after a war, lots of things get forgotten. Uh, the star was Maya Bol Bolkan, I'm so bad at pronouncing foreign words, Maya Bulgakova, who is apparently a character actress, she is amazing in this film. She is the, the, uh, pilot, pilot from, you know, like, she's, the war's been over for almost 20 years, and she's dealing with, like, strife with her daughter, who's at university and also marrying an older man. She's dealing with the rambunctious students at the school where she works. She's, she loves her job and she's good at it, but she's not appreciated. And mostly she misses flying and um, also may or may not have a little bit of a heartbreak hidden under her icy exterior. It's a heartbreaking film. It's a character piece. It kind of reminded me of uh, Cleo from 5 to 7. This is sort of a journey with one woman through existential angst um, during a everyday minutia of life kind of thing, except that it was over a couple of days instead of two hours. Um, I obviously, like I said, I have this collection, but you can rent this film on Hulu Plus, or not rent it, if you have Hulu Plus, you can watch it. Um, the score is really beautiful. It's by, um, what is the score for? Roman Ledinov, and it, there's a kitten. 
and it's just a beautiful score. It makes you, it'll make you want to cry just as much as like the, the angst in the film will. Um, it's just a beautiful film. I'm glad that I bought the set. I'm looking forward to, oh my god, look at what that little kitten did. Can you see that? She bit my DVD collection. Cat bite in there now. Cats. Anyways, um, uh, so her the other film in this collection, The Ascent, is her last film. It came out, it was so well regarded that she was asked to be on a panel for Ber Berlin Nail, I think it was the next year, but then while scouting locations for uh, her next film, she and the film crew got in a car accident and they all died. And so she was 40 and she made four films and that's all we have. And I have these two and I'm hoping the other two will come available somewhere so that I can like complete her filmography. Um, but clearly she was a really talented filmmaker and you should seek out what you can of hers because um, she shouldn't be you know, brushed to the side. She should be celebrated. Uh, here's a kitten. Uh, Paul Schrader. Uh, who wrote Taxi Driver and directed one of my all-time favorite films, American Gigolo, put this on his top 10 picks from the Criterion Collection. So if you, you know, like Schrader, he's, he, he'd tell you to watch it. Ah, Paul Schrader. Okay. If only he can make a good film again. That would be wonderful, huh? Yes. Okay. So uh, Larissa Shapitko's Shep Wings, really, really good film. Kittens always try to eat DVDs. So it goes. <laughs>